going uh, on and on and on. Now, you can easily identify uh, people in, in the cash flow quadrant, okay? Now, we've modified this a little bit, and, um, you know, I'll, I'll go through this. Now, note Kiyosaki calls the D quadrant uh, the big business owner quadrant, okay? That's normally called the B, but in this particular example, we're going to call it a D, uh, and I'll explain that in a, in a bit later, okay? Um, the cash flow quadrant. Um, on the left hand side, we have employees and we have self employed. And these are people that work with the body and they love to do. Okay. Now, on the right hand side are the developer and the investor. And they work with the mind, they love to deal. Okay. Now, let's take a closer look at each one. Employee, they have a good job or a job. Um, someone else is their boss and their values is really this, security before money. They need to feel that they are in a secure environment, um, that they you know, will have benefits, etc. Okay? Now in this economy, we all know that that line is becoming thinner and thinner. Okay, exempt from non-exempt jobs. Non-exempt are considered the non-professional jobs. The, you know, up to 100% doing routines, non-thinking tasks. Uh, does only what is told to do. Uh, has a preset schedule. Punches a time clock. Usually paid hourly and receives overtime pay. Now, we all know this, they could be laborers, they could be, um, you know, working in, in fast food restaurants, etc. And obviously, we all, on the other side, we have the better jobs or the management, uh, which are considered professionals. And uh, at least half of their time is using, used intellectual, uh, intellectually directing and, cr you know, creating creativity, uh, organizing, planning, etc. Um, has discretion with decisions. Um, they also can set their own work schedule, but however, they receive a salary and, and usually no overtime pay. And let's go on to the self-employed. Now, you own a job, basically. Loner bosses. Um, Perfectionists, small businesses, small business owners, uh, doctors, restaurateurs, independents before money. This is really what their look. Their values are: if you want to get it done right, let's do it yourself. Okay, um, this is self-employed. Now, most people, what they tend to do, they become an employee, they learn a trade, and then they say, "I'm going to go out and do it myself." Okay, um, so they, you know, most of the time, copycat. Uh, what they've learned in a job and and start being a direct competitor with their ex-employee now um, You know it has a bit of a self Satisfying the problem there is that if you do not work you're not making any money um, Then we have the other uh, the, the other quadrant called the developer and you own the systems that other operates, okay? Uh, you coordinate, or coordinate, delegate, something like a franchise. Uh, this is also a very good example of network marketing. Uh, you use other people's time and money to create your wealth. And then we have the investor. Your money works for you. You make money with money. Um, you, you know, others' liabilities are your assets. Okay, so... Going back, you know, on the left-hand side, we have um, the people who usually work with their body, uh, love to do. And on the right-hand side, we have the people who work with their mind, and they love to deal. Uh, now, usually, this is generalizing, uh, if you want to become wealthy, um, you should be on the right-hand side, okay? That's the wealthy side. That's what, if you analyze all the successful people, 
in the world, chances are they're not employees and they're also not self-employed. Uh, the reason is very simple that they don't have the clock working against them. If you're an employee, you only have 24 hours to make your money and if you're self-employed, you also only have 24 hours uh, to make your money. So you have a glass ceiling on your income. Uh, and these are considered, you know, that they're in the rat race side. It means they keep doing the same thing um, and they'll really never come out of this race, um, you know, to freedom, if you like. However, on the wealthy side, um, you, it, there's no number of how many people can work for you. So, um, you know, it, income is literally uh, unlimited. Uh, you don't have this glass ceiling. Uh, however, you do need to develop different skills, okay, um, in order to be successful as a developer or as an investor. Now, uh, some paths to financial freedom, I'm going to just show you, um, is number one, employees want to start directly as an investor. Now, there's sometimes a problem with this uh, equation, uh, simply because as an investor, you need money, okay? Your money works for you. Um, however, a lot of the time employees um, are working to pay bills and usually at the end of each month they don't have very much uh, to show for. So it's very difficult to accumulate wealth uh, being an employee. Okay? Self-employed um, is another way to be, you know, if you become a self-employed and you want to move into the investor, um, self-employed is a, in, in the general, uh, a better high paid uh, employee, uh, but you're your own employee. So, I mean, you can make perhaps more money. However, it's very hard to do um, and you have to keep working very hard. The problem with this equation is that usually you require much more money um, to become an investor, but this is one way to financial freedom. And obviously, being an investor, you require another skill set, another mindset to be successful, okay? Which, of course, can be learned. Every skill can be learned. Another way uh, to become financially free is to, you know, to start as an employee. And uh, most people do this and they go on to become self-employed because uh, they get more gratification be doing things themselves and, 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 and taking control. However, they come to realize after a couple of years working their own business uh, that they've reached the limit, that they don't have uh, more than 24 hours a day to make, be successful. So they looked at you know, becoming a developer and they start building a team of, of other people to, do, to get things done for them. So they earn a percentage of other people's productivity and with that money, they become successful investors. Um, and obviously, as a developer, you can go straight into an investor. Uh, this is usually the best way because you do have money coming to you uh, more consistently uh, without your um, time effort. So you will have money plus time to learn the skill set to become an investor. Um, now, what are your financial goals um, and which would you choose? One, job security. Two, financial security. And number three, financial freedom. Okay, I am holding buckets or building a pipeline. Can you make a better hamburger than McDonald's? Of course you can. Um, but you know, it's really the system, okay? The key is, can you build a better system for making hamburgers than McDonald's? There are tons of great ideas, but few great systems. Uh, you must also have the discipline and diligence uh, to work the system, okay? Because really, this is the key in, this, in, in creating wealth. It's not about having just a great idea, but it's about building a system um, that is proven to work, such as network marketing, for example. It's a system proven to work that, um, you know, statistics say that 
more millionaires have ever been created in the industry of network marketing than any other industry 